My wife and I have five children. I am fortunate enough that every one of them wants to be here on the farm with us. Either I spoke too highly about it around the kitchen table when they're kids, or, or I don't know what I did, but they all want to come home and farm, and well, they all are here farming. Uh, working with my family is definitely different after um, working outside of the farm for six years. I feel like it's a different kind of gratification to, to be able to, I think, push through all of those personal connections and to be able to work together towards a common goal is huge. From learning the merchandising, my oldest daughter is a merchandiser and a buyer here at the Grain Elevator, and uh, my sons are planting and harvesting the crops and looking after them through the growing season, spraying and, and uh, trucking the, the grain away in the winter time. So every aspect of the farm, they're, they're somewhat involved. Working with my family, um, it means a lot to me that we can work well together. I, I don't find myself just wanting to be at a desk. I don't find myself just wanting to operate the equipment. If I do, I can go other places to just do that all the time, but I like the variability of it. Like uh, one day I'm doing this, the next day I'm doing that. It's, I do whatever there is on the farm and uh, I enjoy it all because of the variability and you don't stick to the one job. It just, you know, springtime's coming up, those planters are gonna be pulled out and start working on them. Then we'll be hitting the fields and after that, I'll be pulling the sprayer out, getting that going. It's, uh, I like the variability of the farm. We, yeah, we butt heads every now and then, but for the most part, we work very well together. And uh, we're not all wanting to do the exact same thing all the time. We were able to mix it up and we're able to focus on different spots of the farm. They're close and they know everything about you. <laughs> but to be able to push through all that and, and run a profitable business is, it's really rewarding. Yeah, no, the next generation is the future of this industry and uh, and uh, I view that as a, as a very important task for me to uh, facilitate their learning. And it was easier when it was just me because, you know, I didn't have to really answer to too many other people. And now that there's the four other kids that are active on the farm, we want to include them in those decisions so that, you know, when Ruth Ann and I are out of the picture or we go to Back, back away from some more of the decision making that that they're able to make those same decisions uh, that, that we made. So it's, it's a learning thing for them too, yeah. One of the things that I think is super exciting about agriculture is the technology in agriculture is advancing, is one of the fastest advancing industries out there actually. Um, with technology to improve your crops or to improve your livestock, the, the health of your livestock. You know, we want to feed the world, right? We want to try to, everything we do, we do to the best of our abilities. And if there's something that is out there that maybe they're working on that's maybe better than what we're doing now, so then, okay, so maybe we might have to change things up. And then, yeah, we don't want to be kind of stuck in the past thing where it's, yeah, it might work, but there could be something better out there. And so we're constantly looking to see things that we can improve on our farm. I know it's easy to think of like this old farmer in his tractor and <laughs> that's just how things have been done and how it'll always be done. But really actually the ones that are growing and, and being profitable, they're adapting to these new technologies and they're surrounding themselves by um, the right people to help their business grow and be profitable. I think they see a lot of the uh, things that I like about farming, you know, the, when you're planting and you can put your hands down in the soil after you've worked a field or, or when you're out digging up seed to see, you know, ex exactly, is it exactly where you want it to be? Is it at the right depth and is the spacing right? And they, uh, they're, they're embracing that and I, I really appreciate that they, uh, they want to do a good job. <laughs>